Hey guys, Wolf Girl here. So today I'm gonna be doing a video on how I organize all my doll accessories. I'm pretty sure I already did this, but only with my feeding accessories a while ago. So we're gonna do with all of them. So clothes, toys, feeding stuff, and everything else. Okay, yeah, let's get started. I'm gonna start with the clothes. So here's their wardrobe. This is at the corner of my room. This is away from the nursery. It's over there somewhere and I don't want to point my camera over there because um, everything is a mess. So up here we have actually just ignore like these children books over here. Um, there's only two shelves of them. These are the ones I decided to keep. I kind of got rid of all the rest. Um, keeping some of these for obvious reasons. Anyways, um, <clears throat> up here we have Whitney and Georgie because I, I consider them the, the children's dogs. So they're just kind of sitting here because there's no where else to put them really. We also have Claudia here because she doesn't fit on the shelf with the bittersweet characters because she's just a little bit too tall. She's got a fat head. I also have this chair up here because there's nowhere else to put it and it came with the wardrobe but I'm just gonna keep it up here to keep it out of the way because I only really set this up when the wardrobe is open. I'll show you in a second. Anyways, here we have these these shelves. So up here we have seasonal stuff. This is, <clears throat> excuse me, mostly winter stuff but we also have some bathing suits, at least there should be some bathing suits up here. Um, hats, socks, you know, extra stuff. There's the bathing suit. Hi. This next one is uh, clothing that only fits my bigger doll. So we have Julie's um, holiday outfit in here. We have some pants. Um, let me just dig this out as well. Yeah, all, okay, that's it. All big clothes, these overalls that I actually forgot existed. Um, onesie from my baby born. The baby onesies, jeans, you know, the whole nine yards. In here, in this middle one, is stuff that only fits my smaller doll, so my 12 inch dolls. Um, my smaller baby alives, like snack and lily size, so, you know, we got dresses like these. And... Wow, this skirt is falling apart, ignore that. Um, got this dress, you know, all this cool stuff. So here, we have stuff that only fits my small dolls. Um, so like little babies, this this bib is here, not with my other bibs because it's super thin and it really wouldn't work either way. So this would be for my, um, my littles, Natalie, Addie, you know, kids around those lines. So some of these are Barbie clothes. And this bottom drawer is just some big stuff that I wasn't able to stuff up there. It's literally just hats, just really big hats. Um, this is not that big. This is comically small but long. Um, this barely fits on anyone. I don't remember if I tried to put this on anyone yet, but anyways, we have this really long scarf. Um, this pretty big hat, which only fits on my biggest baby alive doll, so Sammy, Merritt, Sydney. Same with this hat, really only fits on those dolls. I think I only ever put it on Sydney, and I actually forgot about it, so next winter maybe. And also this. Okay, so let's come over here and bear with me. This is a little bit of a mess, but... Um, I have this bin full of shoes. This is not exactly ideal, but they don't they don't fit down here, believe me, I already tried. So we have to deal with that. Um, I should really put shoes on more of my dolls sometimes. The problem is most of these are for bigger dolls. And my smaller dolls have almost nothing. And I would make them more shoes, but there's so many shoes already, I, I need to think of something else. Okay. Um, we have this Build-A-Bear dress here, just kind of like hanging, um, because it can. I'm not too sure what made me hang up some of these, but they've always kind of been here, so they're staying there. I also have all these hangers just kind of hanging back here, <laughs> but I have no use for them. <clears throat> Down here is the chamber with all the pajamas and stuff, also like some blankies and whatnot. I know I don't have that many pajamas, but sometimes I also have a habit of just like throwing together a baggy t-shirt and like shorts and making my doll sleep in that instead for skits. So this is where I put the stool usually because we got a mirror here, nice little table, and it folds up. Wow! And if you want to come up here, we have one more bag of doll clothes just sitting in the bookshelf because it's really beefy! Ugh. 
There we go. It's not dusty. I don't know why it looks wet on camera, but hold on. <laughs> it's 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 gonna explode. It's <laughs> She's humongous. Okay, wow. Um, this is a bag full of doll clothes that fit pretty much all the dolls. This is stained. Okay, oh, you know, this is just clothes that can fit most of my dolls, more or less. Um, some of these might fit bigger ones better, some of these might fit smaller ones better, but, you know, they can go on almost every doll, except for like the really small or really big ones, for the most part. So, like, like take this for example, this mostly fits in the smaller dolls, but I can probably make this fit a 16 inch, 14 inch doll. So right next to the wardrobe we have my drawers full of mostly clothes, but the bottom drawer is full of doll stuff. This one is a bit of a doozy. Okay, so first of all, here we have some diaper bags, you know, most of these double as changing mats. Um, here are all their toys, I put them in plastic bags so they're easier to keep track of. Hold on, there's one below it. Uh, water wings. Love those. Um, we have some seasonal stuff back here. So there's Halloween bucket, there's birthday stuff, and accessories, um, cards from old videos that I'm just kind of hanging on to for I don't know what reason. Hold on, I'm gonna leave those water wings there. This is all the medical stuff. <laughs> oh, now's not your time to shine. Go away. Here's all the medical stuff. Hold on. Yeah. I also have a pack of old diapers just kind of like chilling here. Well, not like old, old baby live diapers, but they're kind of old. They don't make these anymore. They're just kind of like chilling here because they're old. This should be in here, but this bag, which is kind of overflowing, yeah. this just has a bunch of like miscellaneous accessories. Um, so we have like tea party stuff, headphones, this bag, um, spray bottle, obviously this blow dryer, um, canvases, school book, couldn't grab it for some reason, backpack, uh, handkerchiefs, chiefs, chief, um, I can't speak, well, <clears throat> anyways, uh, apron, another bag, another backpack, I said this one, Another backpack, easel, paintbrushes, um, map, school book, bedtime story. Um, these used to be my books when I was a baby. Um, I'm Russian. They're, they're a little gnawed, but <laughs> you know, it's fine. They're also there. Um, easel, calculator, ruler, and a uh, pencil. We got a blanket here, um, we also got a guitar, because it's too big to fit in here. Um, here's some like travel related things, so here's a tiny car seat, and a tiny wagon, those are both for Addy. Here's some carriers, these are my baby go bye bye carriers, um, my littlest carrier, and this toy that's also for Addy because it was too big to fit in there, so I just kind of shoved it there. Um, this bag back here, I'm not gonna dig all of it out, but this is like bittersweet or like magical related stuff, and like accessories. So we have, you know, crowns, um, these things kind of kind of look like spell books, so they're just kind of chilling there. Um, Caroline can probably use some of these accessories. This is all like hair accessories, like bows and, uh, Clips and headbands, obviously brushes, and we have earrings in here as well. Um, and some hair ties, whatnot. I also have this book of doll hair that my cousin gave me a really long time ago. That's just chilling there in case I need it. <clears throat> oh yeah, I almost forgot. There's also a fan chilling back here. This is all just like baby toys, like blocks and shapes and cups. So back there we also have this bag of pacifiers. Um, this one's just chilling loosely because for some reason it one more just couldn't fit. There's also this bag hanging around, this stylish little bag. And lastly, in the way back, we have this uh, 
wooden Monster Zinc case that I built at Lowe's a really long time ago. Not sure why I have this. I've never seen monsters. Um, but this is a bag full of like bracelets and necklaces. There's more accessories in here like sunglasses and there's this like uses a collar. Also uses a collar for my animals, obviously. More sunglasses. And uh yeah. Okay, so before I go move on to the bathroom because that's where all the feeding stuff is, I just want to quickly mention that I do have an R Generation Jeep. Um and two car seats but they're chilling in my storage room because I have a small house and they're kind of big so they just kind of like sit there and I'm not gonna go out there right now because one it's a mess two it's night and it's scary so <laughs> let's go hola welcome to the mess yes it usually is this messy just ignore that that's like soap and stuff and before anyone asks this shower does not work and I don't have a cabinet in here so I just stack stuff. I do have shelves, but they're taken up with mostly towels. I'll move to those in a second because I do have some accessories on the top shelf. Anyways, so back here we have mostly toilets, but we have a high chair and this takeout container I use as a small bathtub. This is a makeshift potty I made and it's super ugly and weird looking, but it works better than all of these other ones, so hmm. This is some cheap hair conditioner I got at Walmart. This I sometimes used for washing the doll's hair but i mostly use this for food i have two of these in here i don't i don't know why i started using both of these at the same time but whatever this is fabric softener um i use it on their hair it makes it soft this is just diaper gel i use this to make food like thick and chunky this is also conditioner but this is my good quality conditioner and i only use this on their hair we also got some baby bottles back here. They wouldn't fit anywhere else, so they're just kind of chilling. Um, that soap's not mine. This is all my Play-Doh accessories. So we got, you know, the obvious Play-Doh accessories and Play-Doh. Oops. And anyways, forgive me. So this is just a box of random stuff. Um, we got gloves here for various things. This is... Nail polish remover for removing stains, hairspray for uh, keeping certain dolls' hair together. This is an empty jar for storing stuff. Um, I actually do have a few empty bottles in here. This is for hairspray. Um, this is accessories. This like bathroom accessories. This is mostly um, I got potty charts in here from my potty dance dolls. This is um, I think that's supposed to be baby powder, soap, and whatnot tiny toilet that's comically useless, but it's okay. Doc gave it to me. And also this random lid because I don't know. So this is all my food making stuff. It's mostly just like paint and other like coloring. Um, I have washable paint in here that I bought like a really long time ago to color food and I still have most of it. Um, got lotion and other like freebie stuff that my mom gets that she doesn't want to use. Um, and over here is a disaster I call all the actual feeding supplies. So bottles, uh, bowls, spoons, you know, usually it looks nicer than this. That's a lie. It only looks nice after I organize it. And if we go along here, this is also just a bunch of random stuff, like stuff I need to use or just important stuff. So this right here is these straws I use for curling doll hair. This is like medicine stuff, but I use this for other things. This dropper is really handy. Uh, bobby pins for curling doll hair. This is for scraping stuff. I just, I don't remember what I was scraping, but I brought this in here for something and I'm just gonna keep it in here. Uh, this toothbrush also works for detangling stuff and also scrubbing stuff, obviously, because it's a brush, you know, syringe for obvious reasons. This is doll puke. Um, this is blood and it's getting kind of old. This is leftover food I made for a video. I made too much, so I put some of it in here and I haven't touched it since. I, I keep hitting this. I don't know why this is here. Clearly this was important for some sort of reason. It's a tube of glitter glue, but I don't know why that's here. This is soap for videos. 
Um, I think I was going to use this. Yeah, I was definitely going to use this diaper. It's stained and it's got a hole in it, so it's just kind of chilling there. This cup for, I don't know what reason, and that should be in there, actually. Um, <clears throat> and a magic eraser. And if you come over here, these are normal towels for, you know, hand wiping, but here's two towels that I use to wipe up stains that I, like, put down during feeding. Sometimes I put these down when I'm painting something, too. Um, I have another one over here that that's drying. It's actually dry now. I don't know how long this has been hanging here, to be honest. And if you come up here, you'll see two hair straighteners. That one's broken. This one is not. I use this for straightening my doll's hair. Makes it less frizzy. Here's a refill pack that Doc gave me a really long time ago. I still haven't opened it. <laughs> Go me. Um, more freebie stuff. Um, this is shampoo. I don't use shampoo to make food, so I need to figure out what to do with that. And come over here. I'm actually going to take this box out. So hold okay, so in this box we got bibs. This is a washcloth. Um, more bibs. That's not a bib. That's a juice packet. Um, another bib. A whole lot of diapers. Yeah. Um, more diapers. These are real baby diapers. Newborn size. Obviously it says so right there. I prefer using these because first of all you can make diaper gel out of these, which is great. And also these hold way more. So, awesome. Here's, here's another one. Some old recipes I wrote. Um, just in case I wanted to remake some stuff because a few years ago I used to experiment a lot with making different baby alive foods. I'm not too sure why. Mixing together conditioner and water was apparently fascinating to me. So I have some combinations written down just in case I want to look at them again. So here are a bunch of food packets and juice packets. Here's what I got going for me. Um, got some baby wipes. And more diapers. Okay, well, that was everything. So, thanks for watching. Please click like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. And down in the comments below, let me know how you organize your doll accessories or what your favorite part of my organization was. And we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.